For more on the summit, let's bring in Joshua Walker. He's the CEO and president at U.S. Pavilion Astana World Expo 2017. He's also a transatlantic fellow with the German Marshall Fund. Um, why don't we start about these perceptions, because uh, Guy Henderson touched on it. Some of the West tending to view the SEO as kind of an anti-NATO bloc. Why is that, and how do you change those perceptions? You know, Mike, I think the thing is, when you're in Astana, you realize that these boxes that we think about in the West, that you're either NATO or not NATO, and since none of the countries that are part of the SCO are NATO members because of their geography, it's natural that we think about it as somehow being competitive towards. And it's hard to kind of think about it in a broader regional perspective when you're sitting in Washington. But out here, I think they really... Well, it looks like we got hung up there. Hopefully, we can uh, get back to Joshua Walker. He's in Hastana, and he can talk a little bit more about the SEO. But leading on to our other big story, the U.K. elections. Oh, we've got Joshua back, so let's continue the conversation. Happy to have you back. Uh, so, Joshua, kind of pick that up. So, I guess once you're in, the, in kind of that Washington confine, you look at it one way. How do you change the perception? You know, I think the way you change the perception is by having more people come here. And I think by expanding the SCO like they've done, as Guy reported, with India and Pakistan, it makes it beyond just simply a kind of a Russian and Chinese axis and adds a whole other component with South Asia along with Central Asia and Eurasia running all the way now from Belarus out to China. This is becoming a truly regional and kind of trans-regional partnership. So I think people need to come and see this, experience it for themselves. That's how you're going to change perceptions. And I, and I suspect some Americans are there. They'll probably walk away with a different uh, outlook once they leave. How about uh, countries there uh, coordinating in their joint efforts against terrorism? How might that look? And what more can be done there? You know, I think that terrorism and security cooperation is always going to be a focal point anytime you have world leaders coming together because their first responsibility is to their citizens and to keep them safe. You heard the Russian president talk about Syria. You heard the Chinese president talk about Afghanistan. You heard all conversations happening. So I think that this is an area where there's actually room for cooperation, not just within the SCO and countries in the region, but also with groups like NATO in Afghanistan. There are, there are areas that bring us together when we fight against something like terrorism. We, have, we can have a united front as a global community. Let me talk to you a little bit about Kazakhstan, because uh, I think it's been remarkable what we've seen. I was just uh, in May in Beijing for the Belt and Road Forum, and of course, Kazakhstan looks to play a pivotal role there. It's got a pivotal role in peace talks. It's, it's kind of uh, working its way onto the international stage. Talk to us about uh, its role. You know, it's amazing, Mike. Just this week with the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the opening of the World Expo that I'm here for, and then also with the Astana peace process that's ongoing here, it really is like the world is coming here. The Chinese, with their One Belt, One Road initiative that you mentioned, they talk about Kazakhstan like it's the, the buckle of a belt. Because when you look at the geography of Eurasia that connects Europe and Asia, Kazakhstan sits right in the middle, and they're able to bring everything together from East and West, from Muslim culture to secular, being able to bring all these pieces together. I think Kazakhstan is uniquely placed, and I think the world is discovering it, and we're finding ourselves increasingly coming here because of these international forums. Interesting. Joshua Walker, thanks so much for joining us via Skype.